Hi, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and I'm going to share with you one of my fun techniques using a decorative roller. Um, this is a couple of different steps, so I'm going to show you how to start it, and then we're actually going to do, I've got one that's dry, so we'll show you how to glaze it. Um, starting off with proceeds material, smooth absorbent texture, and I'm just going to put some on my trowel and trowel the product onto a sample wall here that I'm working on. When you're troweling this on, you just need a thin layer of material. You only need enough for the roller to be able to create the print or the pattern that you're looking for. You don't need to have it on really thick. So it doesn't take a whole lot of product. So I'm going to trowel this across the whole surface. And I'm just kind of going down a couple times just to get rid of any of my trowel marks. And then this is the ostrich roller. And I'm just going to roll this through a couple of times and create the pattern. Now it stipples it up so you've got some peaks. What I like to do at this point is to clean off the trowel so that we have a clean edge to work with. And I'm going to use a really, really light touch. And I'm just going to knock those peaks down, which is going to create a lot of dimension and then you don't have to come back and try to sand the area. If you've traveled anywhere more than you wanted to, you can always roll back through and then come back and soften out that area. So this being a plaster, uh, needs to thoroughly dry before we can go forward, but I've got another sample that I already started, so I'm gonna put that one aside. And gotta clean up my wall here a little bit. And then this is the one that I already started. So it's the same material, same pattern. It's completely dry. I didn't have to sand because I did knock everything down. And I want to show you how I glaze it so you can create a lot of dimension and depth with this finish. Uh, you can create whatever color glaze you want. I'm using a real nice ochre color. And I'm just going to glaze up the entire surface. I'm just trying to work it in without using too much glaze. This is what I call that like stretch and pull your glaze so that you use it um, where you don't have it too thick anywhere, okay? And this will take you a minute or two. If I've got a really, really big surface that I'm working on, I'll either roll the glaze or um, use a larger brush so that I can glaze up the surface faster. But you do need to get the glaze down into all the nooks and crannies that you created with the roller. So sorry you have to watch me do this a little bit longer. And I can also tell that I've got a new chip brush that I'm working with because it's left a few hairs behind. So I'm gonna pick those out. and just kind of soften a little bit of the excess glaze so there's not too much on the surface, just by pouncing. And then to create a lot of dimension and depth, I'm gonna take another trowel, nice clean one, and I'm gonna pull that glaze down into all the little divots that the ostrich roller created. So this creates a lot of depth and dimension. Again, I can see a few of those hairs. I'm just going to pick those out. And soften out where I've had to do that. Now that's it. That can be a background for another texture or another layer. Um, but this is just a really fun way to use them. A couple new techniques to work with. And thanks for watching.